Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Subnautica. This is episode 2. If you have not seen episode 1, you should really go see that before you continue with this video. We've done quite a bit. We, uh, most notably, got that sea glide. Very helpful. As long as all these other tools here. And we'll be continuing right off where we were. As you can see, we have a message, actually, so we should get that right away. This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't oh, know this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing is trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Yep. Oh, Ozzy. Doesn't seem like much is going well for him. Now, I'm not really sure what my plans are for this episode. I guess I'll just do what comes to me. Such as drink some water. As I am, seems to be thirsty. Much better. Let's see. You know what? Now that we have the sea glide, I guess we can go see Ozzy right now. Alright, we made it to the grassy plateaus. Right below us should be Ozzy. Knock, 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 Ozzy, Ozzy. Man, he's gone too. We got his PDA though. Ozzy's log. It's the day of the crash. I don't know what the heck is happening. I'm scared and I'm not going outside. There are shadows in the water under the hatch, but I can't tell if the rocks or aliens. And there's weird looking caves nearby. The Aurora was carrying everything needed to build the phase gate. Mobile vehicle bays, bioreactors, propulsion cannons. It had a cinema. There, there was a zero G gym. My cafe. I don't understand how we're here now. Don't know why no one's coming for me. Short range scans suggest this biome supports extensive biodiversity and connects to a number of small cave networks. It seemed like Ozzy had a lot going for him. It feels really bad, you know? Well, anyways, we got this wreck here. Should have a lot of scannables. As you probably have noticed, I have. There was a Seamoth fragment that I scanned, and that's going to be very, very helpful, just like the Sea Glide here. Our first submersible, in fact. Alright, so the next one, sh the next fragment should be somewhere around here. Once we get that. Ooh. Laser cutter. Also very useful. Okay, okay, next fragment, where ya at? Where ya at? Where ya at? Ooh, a bioreactor will also be very helpful, depending on if I need it. Uh, these biters everywhere, stay back. Leave me alone, sand shark. Okay, we got a scanner room fragment, that's also helpful. Data. Gonna need to get oxygen in a few seconds. Ooh, another sea moth fragment. Also very, very helpful. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, time to get oxygen. Well, we just got a lot of progress in just a few short minutes. This is like, what, not even 10 minutes into the video? Alright, let's get back down and see if there's anything else left. Aw, oh, little baby reef back over there. Oh yeah, scanner room fragment. Do I have the scanner room already? Do I have that already? Do I? Do I? Tell me. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, this will be my last one right here then. Yes, yes, yes. Base building. Ooh. 
I think that's what I might want to start on. In this episode. Yeah, yeah, let's try that. Let's make the habitat builder whenever we get to the life pod. Uh, do I have all the seamoth fragments? I'm gonna go to the surface and check that. Dang it, no, I need one more fragment and then I'll get it. And then I won't even be able to get it without the mobile vehicle bay, so I'm gonna need to get that too. Alright, 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 alright. Okay. Please, please, please tell me there's another one around here. I really don't want to go somewhere else looking for it. Please. Bye. Hey, we back. Okay, okay. Your roar is about to explode. Got another sea moth fragment. I have to go look for a mobile vehicle bay fragment now. I guess I should go look for that in the kelp forest. I tend to have a lot of uh, luck finding the mobile vehicle bay fragments in the uh, kelp forest. Come on, come on. Yes! Ah. <sighs> took too long to find. You can probably tell with my battery on my sea glide. I had to come all the way by the Grand Reef biome to find it. You're kidding. Alright, let's get back to the life pod. Oh, and a me radio message too. I got that right as I went to the Grand Reef. Shoot, what message gets triggered by the Grand Reef? I totally forgot. Well, we'll find out when we get back. Alright, we are back. I really need to get a new battery for my Seagull, but, but uh, before that, let's see what this radio message is all about. High priority automated message oh. from Aurora Live. Yoshi, Pod right? His name? Joshi, okay. Yoki Kasa. I said Kassa. Why do I have to record this anyway? Send immediate burial detail. Signal location uploaded to PD. We can go there too. Of course, I want to make the Seamoth first though. So let's do that. But I need me a battery for my whenever my sea glide finally dies. Alright, what is needed to make the thing okay, lubricant power cell? Alright, let's look on the work on the titanium ingot for now. Okay, that's gonna be ten titanium. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Really? Nine? Alright, that's just kinda rude now. Let's get this titanium here. Alright, and let's make some titanium ingots. There we go. Okay, lubricants next. Do I have lubricant? I I think I can make it. I, th I think I can make it. Yes, okay. Next is the uh, power cell. Gonna need to get more C clusters though to get the silicon for that. Silicon rubber. I'm gonna need two batteries. Alright, I'm gonna need to get two copper as well. So. No. O limestone, O limestone. There you go. Alright, one more copper to go. Not, that's not copper. Be advised, a common complication for cave divers is loss of orientation, followed by eventual asphyxiation. Good thing I'm not affected by that. Please, please, please be copper. Yes! Okay. Now I can get back. Congratulations, 
survivor. You have exceeded your weekly exercise quotient by 500%. Data indicates that swimming was your favorite activity. Be sure to vary your routine for uniform muscle development. No, it is time to make a seam off. Oh, a message. This is Avery Quinn of Trading Ship oh, Sunbeam. Yes, Aurora it is Avery. Over. Nothing but vacuum. These Altera ships. They run low on engine grease, they send an SOS, you offer to help, they don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's going to take more than a week to reach your position. Do you still need our assistance? Over. I'll try them again tomorrow. Damn charter's going to have us blowing our credits running errands for Altera. See what the long-range scans pick up in the meantime. Huh? Seek fluid intake. To a radio message. This is Officer Keen in Light Pod 19. The captain is gone. I have assumed command. The last thing the captain did was give me coordinates for dry land. We regroup one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. Stay together and good luck. This message will now repeat. Rendezvous coordinates corrupted. Transmission origin coordinates downloaded. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Yes. I can make the scene moth now. The sea moth is a fast, safe mode of transport, but remember that swimming is good for your glutes and endorphin levels. Forget about my glutes, I have a sea moth now. This will help with getting to face I otherwise wouldn't be able to get to. Now that I have made the sea moth, I can go ahead and make a habitat builder. Local radiation readings suggest the Aurora's drive core has reached critical state. Quantum detonation will occur within two hours.
Sunbeam again. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. I didn't know how bad... How many of you... I, I didn't know. We're now en route to your location. We're gonna bring you home. Sunbeam out. What else can I say? The only time I parked a rig this big on a rock that small was in VR. And I blew it. It's a bad option, all right, but so are all the others. Here we go, I can finally make the Habitat Builder. The Builder tool is designed to construct habitats capable of withstanding extreme environmental conditions. You know what, I would like to build my base somewhere I have never had a base before. Let's see. What biome have I never had a base in? Uh, oh, the bulb zone. Oh uh, then that mean we will not be able to make a base this episode since that biome is currently irradiated. I guess at the time being, I should go check out Officer Keen's life pod. Uh, no, hold up we just got a message. Approximate transmission origin recorded to data bank. All right, let's go to Officer Keen's life pod. Ooh, there is a wreck here. I don't mind getting some fragments on the way there. first precursor vent of the series. Okay, so we have made it to Officer Keen's life pod. Let's get his PDAs. One points towards the floating island. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. uploaded to PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Keen, this is Aurora, come in. This is Keen. Life pod detached to Cape Planet fall in 30 seconds. The computer has identified a landmass at the attached coordinates. I want you to regroup the crew there. Understood, but they are your responsibility now. Don't... Let them down. Captain, you need to evacuate. Negative. You'll need the ship in one piece if you're going to contact HQ on the long range. I'm attempting a controlled descent. Captain! That voice log is sad. Well, here is the floating island.
It looks nice as always, but I think I am going to leave this episode off here. Wow, just like in episode 1, we have accomplished a lot today. I am really sorry the mic glitched in editing, causing this video to be shorter. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Hey everyone, before the video ends, I just want to apologize for my monotone voice. I'm not really one to be very energetic, and I hope that doesn't really affect the quality of my video. Also, a uh, future upload schedule, that's going to be all over the place, at least for the time being, until I can figure something out. Anyways, thanks for watching.